Um, Saturday Night Live? Yeah, I'm supposed to submit to SNL by the day, and I ain't submitting nothing. I, they wanted like characters and they wanted like writing samples. I was like, I'm not confident in my writing samples like that. And I don't have hey, it. So Hey, what's happening, my dude? You ain't really into to sketches like that. Not like that, no. And I felt like me just trying to submit something could have possibly potentially hurt like future relationships. They'd be like, oh, this is a dude that submitted that one shit that one time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works, but I get Man, it. Man, people were, listen, I went to a casting office, I won't say the name, but they literally had a wall of shame from people who did like bad auditions and stuff like that. Wow. One of the offices, like literally it was like 30, like that's 10 guys on there. Wait, was that poor performances or them be, like being late? I, I think a little bit of everything, like bad auditions, uh, yeah. difficult to work with, all that type of stuff. That kind of... Uh, that's kind of messed up. That's like a basketball coach having a picture of air balls. Like, yeah, remember this guy sucked? <laughs> right? Hey, that's look, not... it's a dirty business. It's, you got to be on your stuff. Don't come in this office and you're not ready. Is it hard to hear me through this? Wall. Huh? A little bit. It is? It's hard to look at you for sure. <laughs> Wait, so hold on, Kev. So I know Jack Blanks gave you that. Is that? He didn't give it to me. I bought it. Wait, is it? So that's not actually a pic your picture that he, yeah, like, dude. No, that's me. Yeah, you bought your own likeness of your chick? Wait, what? I, you send in a picture, and then oh, they, make, the they make a mask of your face. So I uh, I made this face. This isn't from the grill picture. I was just making the same face from my favorite painting. Oh. Yeah. And then you, like, pick your skin tone and stuff, and then they and then you decide. Oh, that's amazing. How much was that? I'm about to get one. all. OK, that's cute. I like it. Um, <laughs> what up, Richie? What's up, what up Richard Rich. Neville? What's going on, man? How y'all doing? I'm good. Meg, you, you and Richie, or Meg, you got a lot of light coming from your right side. Um, I got a lot of light, too? No, no, yours works a little bit better, Richie. Maybe I'll do that at an angle. Is this better? Because I'm in a whole yeah. new place, if y'all notice. This looks a little more girly. Is this a different part of your home? No, this is, I'm in Kentucky at my mama's house. That's her crafting room. Crafting room? She got, oh, you crafting, she got a whole sewing machine there. She got... That bunny hanging, my bunny that she made out of cloth when I was little. Was you flew? There. Huh? That son's room? You flew? No, we drove. It's six hours. You probably are hell on a road trip. <laughs> I'm the what most are you dozing fun. off? Everybody wake up and look at the same thing I'm looking at. Wait. Actually, I be sleep. I'm like the worst person to drive with because I do be fine. I would be quick to tell you, look, I'm going to sleep. What's the longest you've ever driven straight on a road trip? You personally, y'all. 20 hours. Straight? Straight? Oh, no, not straight. I'm sorry. At least we did 10. We split it up. Oh, that's what I said. I did, oh, did 10? No. 14 did hours. 14 hours straight. You drove 14 hours straight? I was in the car. No, I mean, uh, like, you <laughs> behind the wheel. Drove. I drove 21 hours straight from St. Louis to L.A. You didn't stop No, no hotel? I was excited to get to L.A. to start working, and I was also on a budget. So, you were being like, chased. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like Anyone it. who knows stop for 20 hours. How? How do you not fall asleep? Uh, he was on the run. He had to Realistically, be. a lot of coffee, Red Bull, masturbation. What? What? Oh, oh. <laughs> wait, so, wait, so as, so as you driving, as you were driving, masturbation, bro? Yeah, wow. Wow. I mean, I pull over. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. Well, I you I've up. heard a lot of things to wake somebody. Like, you know what? Let me rub one out over on my marker seven twelve <laughs> in the middle of Oklahoma. And that's gonna get me off. That should get me to Arizona at least. Man. Someone was like, that's, that's, I, it's, I just thought to hear more pour out three different types of liquid after. <laughs> 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 it wasn't that much. You just saw me pour out one liquid and then maybe get rid of like 14 napkins. That's it. Oh wow. wow. How do you beat your meat in a in a in a in a car with the steering wheel? 14 napkins? You, you gotta like like let it not like recline it, but like move it back away from the steering wheel. What is happening for 14 napkins? <laughs> Probably different sessions. That that would have made me more tired than anything, right? Wow. I mean, you didn't yeah, want to go to I, sleep. I, I, I was relaxed. Up after that. I was relaxed. I was driving. You'd be too relaxed, Kenny. though. I was relaxed listening to Kenny G. I had the windows halfway down. 
Oh, you treated yourself. Hey, Ricky, Richie, he put a he put a candle in a honey bone. A <laughs> honey <laughs> bone. <laughs> well, you stumbled all through that sentence. You did. I said, Ricky, you put a candle in a honey boom. <laughs> who, who masturbates and drinks coffee? Your body's like, what? What do you want? Nah, nah, it was, not, it was breaks in between. I wasn't doing it. I wasn't yanking it and drinking it at the same time. It was just like, I hope not. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I've right, never man. heard that in my life. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. Were you by yourself to here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was driving. I, I was driving by myself. I mean, it'd be weird, hey, but I was real quick. People? Are you, are, you people? <laughs> are you pulling over again to here? John? Everybody got to turn to the side. Here we go. Here we go. He get back in the, he get back in the car with tissue all stuck to his knuckles. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> That's yeah, yeah. the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. To here, were you stopping on the side of the road? Like yeah, the highway? So, so, like, when I'm driving, when I was driving through New Mexico, it's like there is no light. Mm -hmm. No light, no mile markers. Like they don't all is is the, New Mexico it's, it's is literally black. just a white line and you will get hypnotized by the road. And that to happen like three times, I was like, I gotta, I gotta get out of this funk. So pulled over, <laughs> pulled over, pulled up that X videos. Wow. Okay, one quick question for clarifying. Were you already listening to Kenny G or you were like, let me set the mood? <laughs> Kenny nah, G's nah, greatest I put the Kenny G on after. And this is back when I had the iPod in the glug board was either. Scroll to the iPod, find it, connect it back, like, yeah. Um, you were like, Kenny G plays his saxophone, I'm going to play with my saxophone. <laughs> Esmerized by the street lines is the saddest reason to masturbate I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> yeah, I, was in a, I was in a groove, baby. Kenny G. So he had masturbates to elevator music. <laughs> no, 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 that was after. That's, that's post coitus. Oh, that's your that's your calm down music. Yeah. Calm down. His thing, like, when terrible. You, you, listen, that's listen, his refactory you, playlist. Listen, when you uh when you when you have sex, <laughs> it is the the what happens to your body is very similar to a heart you, attack. You didn't right? have sex. Let's start there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, one person, <laughs> it's one person sex, right? That's self sex. Yeah, it's it's very similar to a heart attack. Your your blood pressure rises. Your symptoms uh right heighten. Um. Your heart, your heartbeat increases. All of that happens. When you have that. I was like, I right, now it's time for a cool down little session, real quick. Roll the windows halfway down. To hear how to smoke a black and mild out. <laughs> your body probably I, thought it was a heart I attack. I definitely had the black and mild going. I definitely had the black. I broke. Listen, I, I that thought was you were like, oh, hey man, you good. I had never <laughs> driven by myself. <laughs> I had to have the preparations. I had the necessities on His deck. body was like, this is it. This is it. High blood pressure. He's on the road. He's ha it's happening. It's happening. Is, it <laughs> is he jacking off? <laughs> he can't be jacking off. He, this is a how. Yeah. This is a oh, to hear. So, so you did it. So you did it multiple. It wasn't just like oh, one bro, time. I was like, raw by the time I got to LA. I had, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I had to use AMD ointment. It was raw down there. Ain't no lotion oh, in the front no, seat. Bro, I bro. Lotion, the the lotion. The here was, was jacking off with WD forty. Listen, if you, if you stop to unpack and get the lotion, that's when you're a pervert. I was doing it for like sanity and to stay alive. It was. I so he, only, he only drove from San Diego to LA. It just took 21 <laughs> hours because of all the jack breaks. <laughs> here's a, here's thing, Patrick, what you're doing right now is judging. And I didn't ask for that. I didn't, I didn't ask for that. Reggie, jack in the box? <laughs> <laughs> jack in the glove box. <laughs> Yo, I, man, this man said coffee, red bill, and beating my meat. Red I Bill? Did I say Red Bill? Never Looks like that. Kev was trying to say Red Bull, Tom. I don't I'm know. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing the reporter no more. I don't deserve it. Somebody well, else has to do it. Yeah, he's not in the comments. Episode. They were all in the comments on Kev's head about that, man. He messed what? up so much the last time. What? I was yes, just he did. He's he been messing up lately. My tongue is big. I feel like you. No, I feel like that fake toupee beard you got on is heavy. My beard is real. <laughs> I work hard on this. That hat is too tight. He can't that Amish beard. Nah, to hear this hat. This hat is eight. Is what? Kev, I gotta go ahead and uh, I gotta pay that ticket, man. What? What? I ticket? thought you got out of it. No, bro. So I, I I talked to a lawyer. I gotta get a lawyer. I'll pay for the lawyer. Uh, cause I gotta get a lawyer. Cause somebody has to show up in court. Is I told you if I if I just plead yeah. guilty, I take the points and I just gotta pay the fine. But wait, the what lawyer kind of ticket did you get? get? The points. He got a speeding ticket in in rural Virginia for going uh, like 10 miles over. Brunswick. Oh, you better pay that. They don't play in Virginia. They don't. 
I know. I was trying my best to get out of that ticket, man. Nah. Just pay I was it. sending I was sending them nudes and everything. They was like, uh-uh, it just done. <laughs> Why do you have to pay it? Now it's like, what is this? A canned ham? <laughs> Listen to here. I don't we don't have new nudes sending body. We have lucky to receive a nude. Nobody's gonna be happy to be like, oh yeah, wow, the, the belly's hanging over even more today. Wow. That's see, see, listen, unless I'm I'm R Ricky Loco Richie Loco, I don't I'm not sending anything above I lied guys. I'm never gonna let it go. He was trying to say Richie Loco. <laughs> he said R R Ricky Loco. You said Ricky too. So do I know. yourself too. I I'm a hypocrite. I'm still gonna Shut be up, a <laughs> Back to you, Tom. <laughs> Unless I got Richie Loco's body, bro, you ain't getting nothing above the navel anyway. But see, I don't think women are as attracted to the male body as men are to the, yeah, the women's yeah. body. No, yeah, men are more visual. That. So I like I have to dress mine up. I put it on the counter. I put some rose petals around it. I like That's light why. a cigarette he next to it. You know? look at nice bodies as well. To hear, he, he sets it up like a rotisserie <laughs> chicken. I call it dictures. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you idiot! <laughs> hey, Tier has to add themes. Tier adds themes so it makes sense. He has to look like a mechanic. He has like a car in the back, oil spin. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, oh, it's a mechanic shoot. Oh my God. Hot dog and champion. <laughs> you got us in the picture. <laughs> That's hilarious to hear. Oh, man. Richie Logo, what you been doing, man? Breaking the houses? This ain't zooming in the homie fans. Start the stuff. <laughs> man, yeah, hey. what's happening? He said breaking the houses. Damn, I've been. You know, Richie is an accredited actor. He's been on Insecure more than you have. <laughs> hey. They were like, Richie, we'll call you back and give you more lines. So here, you just sit here all day. We're going to cut your Listen, lines out. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Uh, I literally, hey, um, right I now, keep saying I was... Ricky. I don't know why, but he keeps saying it. Yeah, I don't like you yours. Guys. Did I say Ricky? Well, yes. You said Ricky. You call me Ricky again? Yes. Well, his did. name is Richard. Don't oh, try to okay. justify your mess ups. That's what Tahir called Richard? him, though. Did okay. I just say Richie or Ricky? You said Ricky. I don't know, man. Anyway, it's funny that I made fun of Tahir, and I didn't even book Insecure when I auditioned. <laughs> 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 let, me tell, let me tell you. Let me tell you. you know, the real he tells me personally. Like, bro, how do you reason? ruin that? The real reason I booked Insecure is because of Meg. Really? I got that. I got my audition the same day at All Def, uh, like like right after we finished shooting. Um, or actually, the night before. No, I was saying that. I got it that morning, and I told um, I told Meg about it, and she was like, "You don't know who Issa Rae is?" I was like, "I don't know YouTube things. I like I didn't know nothing about YouTube, so I wasn't aware of anything." And so Meg. After we shot the drop, she worked with me for like three hours on that script, and it was at Fox Studio. So I just went right over to uh, Sony, the Sony, Sony, Sony lot, and I just went right over there and did it. I heard it too. <laughs> Sony is not a. I thought they gonna let him live. I thought they gonna let him live. Damn. You don't even know what he was saying, Todd. It looked like he just got excited <laughs> to say Sony a whole bunch of times. <laughs> Go ahead. But anyway, <laughs> Meg, Meg was the reason that I booked that audition. And I'm still waiting. She for run live with you Why the whole you time. Me, I'm still waiting for my cut to hear. I got you eighteen dollars. <laughs> I give you ten percent of what they gave me. Dang, I should have helped Richie instead. <sighs> oh man, <laughs> y'all <laughs> see Norm on there too. Norm was on there this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah everybody. Yeah. My boy yeah. uh, uh, Reggie Conquest. He's a comic out of Philly. He was oh, uh, a TSA guy. He it was my favorite character. I felt I felt so seen. I'm sorry, what happened? What'd you say, man? This should, this should make you feel worse, Kev, because everybody's on her but you. Nah, because I saw the scene that I was auditioning for, and Issa had handsome young men, and I was like, well, this isn't my thing. I don't, that's not what. Well, Kev, I thought you also I, auditioned to play the principal at that one school. Did you audition oh, for that, too? Snap. I auditioned for this show, too. I just the remember. <laughs> remember, the, remember the principal, the, um, he was at, he was like racist towards like Mexican people, the black principal. I thought you I thought you auditioned for that. He was the principal of the school at the junior high. The East of, you, you can't say that you don't have principal body. I, I, I didn't audition for that. I definitely got principal oh, I, body. I thought ooh, you, ooh. Oh, okay, I thought you said you Nah, did. they they cast Kieran, uh, Philip Hudson, and one other dude. And I was like, these guys are all young and physically fit. I don't really look oh. like I could date Issa Rae on a show like that. I'm not, I'm not Jay Ellis. I'm, I'm TSA Bay. Oh, so you went. Into, I wouldn't feel comfortable being doing a sex scene. I don't. I don't like my body in the light. 
I know bad. where my body is to here. I don't need to see it. My armpits are the same place they were yesterday. I don't need to see it. <laughs> Kevin goes to the bathroom, flips the switch, and just a nightlight comes on. <laughs> <laughs> I get my towel and soap outside of the bathroom. I take it in. I count the steps from the door to the shower. The cone. <laughs> so <he doesn't> <laughs> 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 Yo, that's hilarious, Pat. I know where it's at. <laughs> I don't need that type of negativity. I don't need reinforced stereotypes. All right, man, this is a perfect start to go ahead and jump off the day. Uh, today's perfect start. S T A H T. Shut up. Pat. The way to hear pronounces car and, and like anything uh, with A R, it's always uh, core, cord. Oh. No, car, card, all of that. It's just regular. Oh, How do you say car? Car. I don't even know what you what you just said. How do you Are say you... car? Vroom, vroom, car. How do you say car? Car. Car? Car. That's what I said. I said the <laughs> exact same thing you saying. We you said, said what birds say. Car. Car. <laughs> <laughs> you did not say car. Leave me alone. Car. <laughs> you sound like you from Boston. Park the car at the Harvard Yard. Anyway, man. Anyway, perfect, cut it right before perfect. my bad joke. Right, nope, that right was making that. it in. Perfect place to get it started. <laughs> Today's first topic, right after this. Yo, what's going on? Y'all know I love cologne. Absolutely love it. But I'm going to be honest with you. The whole process of going to the store and trying to find a new scent and all of that, it's a lot. You go to Sephora and you're just overwhelmed by options and smells. And like, I don't care what they say. That little coffee bean thing, they don't, they don't always work for me. It's too, especially if it's, it's all in the air. I don't, I don't like that. In comes Hawthorne. And this is why I will always go to bed for them. Listen, man, it doesn't get any easier than taking a two minute survey to find out the best colognes personally for you. I mean, who else is doing that? Not only the best colognes for you, but the best body wash, the best candles, the best uh, shampoo and conditioner, uh, the best soap. It doesn't get any easier than having all of these options in one place. And you don't even have to leave your house. You can do this from your computer. You can do it from your phone. It doesn't get any easier than this, guys. This two-minute quiz is perfect because they really ask you things that you do, like when you go out, where you go out. What do you do when you're out? What do you drink when you're out? Are you the life of the party? Are you kicking back and just relaxing and taking it all in? They want to know about you because that helps them find the best two colognes for you, you get one for work and one for play. Come on, man. Come on, man. Get in on this. Why would you Why would you drag your feet? Hmm? Why would you drag your feet? Ladies, this is the perfect time. You still got a lot of birthdays left. And the rest of the year, you still got a couple of holidays left. You still got Christmas. Take advantage of this right now. And let me tell you this. After you take this two-minute survey and your cologne comes to your door, you don't even have to leave for it. And for any reason you don't like it, you can send it back. It is free shipping and free returns. They will get it right. They are going to make sure you like what you smell like. Fellas, trust me, when the world opens back up, this is what you're going to want on your side. You're going to want to smell like you and like no one else but you. You don't want to get a cologne that then smell like somebody's ex. That's just, that's, that's just the worst thing ever. That's why you should go to Hawthorne.co right now. That's H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E.co right now. Use my promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, -D, and get 10% off your purchase. So you can start smelling like the best version of you and like nobody else. Because let's be honest, guys. You don't want to smell like somebody else. You want to smell like you, but like a great version of you. First topic of the day, we have oh, look oh, together. Wait. Wait, wait, I want to share this with you guys real quick. Okay. <laughs> somebody, uh, <laughs> somebody sent me this. It's a video of you to hear. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. Let's see this. I'm sharing my screen. Can you guys see it? All right, wait. Can you guys oh. hear? It? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, this was last episode. I can't hear it. Uh, I hear it. This <laughs> nigga left his messy up in there. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Good to hear you died inside, bro. I hate it so much.
that's when I mess up these reads, man. I don't know how that 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 stayed in there because I thought I had went through the whole thing. Here's the thing, though. That cut it off. <laughs> you died. Shut <laughs> off, man. You died. You you like you got shot through the neck. You just like. Listen, <laughs> your confidence is all gone. Here's the thing. So when they sent it to me, I was like, "Fuck!" I went to YouTube Studio immediately and edited that shit out. You could do that? <laughs> Absolutely. You can. Oh, you can trim a piece. Yo. Yeah. I thought yeah. you could only trim the beginning or end. Yeah, only that shit's gone. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> Wait. Oh, somebody caught that before you fixed it. Nigga, yes. <laughs> they, sent it, that, they sent me that from YouTube. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> they were like, what happened to you? <laughs> I went in there so fast. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, it's so funny to me. All anyway, right. uh, first topic of the day, we have what's worse, losing your wallet or losing your phone? Crazy good. Listen, mm. this, is, this is the easiest one in the world to me. Really? Oh, using, okay. your losing your Wait, did you phone. say using? Did you say using? Hey, Tom, it's me. Yeah, I <laughs> messed up again. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to stop anything I do it to here, but I'm having a rough go at it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> losing my wallet is inconvenient. Losing my phone is utter trash. I have my, my wallet. I have my... Um, my credit card, I have Apple Pay and all that stuff on my phone, so I can go to the bank and pull cash out with my phone and all that stuff. If I lose my phone, I can't call an Uber. I can't do nothing. I just, the only thing about my wallet is I have to, <clears throat> I have to wait for my credit cards to come, mm. but I have a picture of my ID in my wallet. I have, I have all that. My phone is, is true. way, way worse, and it costs way more to replace a phone than it does to replace the stuff in a wallet. Yeah, wallet, I mean, unless wallet, you're, wait, wait, unless you're in a foreign country, then it is worse if you... Oh, no, if you're in a foreign country, it's a totally different scenario. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. well here's the thing, because if you're in a foreign country... Losing your passport, you I should still, say. You still got yeah, your passport. Your passport. Yeah, 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 you still got your passport. You might be stuck on the whole money thing. Well, I mean, if you got the cards, unless they don't have, like, the mobile pay type thing, then you kind of stuck. But, yeah, man, I don't know. Like, I hate losing my wallet because I hate having to go get your ID replaced. Like, that's the most tedious thing. Like you said, the credit cards, all that could be mailed back out. But the whole ID thing, ugh. And nowadays, I have so many things. I, I buy most of my stuff online, and it's, like, through PayPal or through whatever. or my. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's ways to do all that. Even Postmates, all that stuff can be done. But, like, having to physically go to the DMV and, and wait in there is just – that's just the worst. I mean, and more importantly, too, is that, like, your phone – I think nobody – on this planet quite knows you better than your phone if you think about it because like you tell your phone everything it knows your social <laughs> security it knows your email it knows your text whether you got news or not your wallet doesn't really know you you know what i'm saying hey, just open you said it like you your talk to your phone like hey phone how are you you today? do you know but you do though. <laughs> you do though think about it your, your phone is your personal your personal robot it like knows everything about you and man I, I have probably like 30 accounts robot that Apple has created that strong password for. And it's like, if something would have happened, I would never be able to get into these accounts. Like, it's just, it's just, I have no idea. Those passwords are like, who, who uses those passwords? I do. Can't nobody ever figure it out. <laughs> you can't either. Do you stutter when you make passwords <laughs> here? Huh? Do you stutter over your words when you make passwords? <laughs> Swordfish. <laughs> <laughs> when I do that, they be like, "Oh, very strong." Yo, how many passwords do y'all have? How many? How many passwords do y'all have? I have, um, I have two. I have two that I use. Only two. Two for like everything. Four, it's, five, it's very difficult. Yeah. Very difficult. Passwords. I'm like Meg. I got like five very different passwords that I kind of just cycle through. I have like. You know, the ones to my email and bank are the hardest of the hard that are changed more rapidly, but like, um, and to my social media accounts, but then to like my bills and stuff, like, well, man, log in here and pay this stuff. Help me. I, like I, don't care I, I, love, I love, I love yeah. Melissa. I love pizza. I love divorce bras. <laughs> all your passwords. No, like, it's easy to figure out if you got three. the I love part. No, Go ahead, Meg. Three, His is what? Three, Holy Spirit, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Father God, six, seven, eight. That's oh, Holy Spirit, two, three, four is just a, just adding the two, three, four to for a little razzle dazzle. 
wrong. <laughs> and, and honestly, too, like I, I rather prefer losing my wallet. Sometimes I leave my wallet around just hoping people use my credit cards and debit cards so I can go in and report fraud on <laughs> everything. Like I didn't pay for any of that. Like no, no, the rent that came out in the first, I didn't pay that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Give me all my money back. That's funny. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, but you paid like the rent for this card for eight it. months in a row. I, I didn't pay like, it this I time. Didn't, I didn't want to pay it this time. Somebody else did that for me. I don't even stay at that place no more. I'm homeless now. I don't even stay there no more. Have y'all done that before where you like actually did that and <laughs> called fraud on your, on your Man, card? Man, who's going to snitch on themselves live on YouTube? Federal offense. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Yo, man? when I worked I at the bank, people closed. did that all the time. Back in the day, yeah. I don't know if y'all remember, y'all could deposit cash in the ATM and it would just give you credit for 100 and then count it later. Mm -hmm. oh, people used to put empty envelopes in them Bank of America things and be like, bro, I needed the hundred. Y'all just, you know, just don't call the police. But they didn't realize that that was a crime, not just like an overdraft fee or overdraft okay. fee. And people yeah. would be like, bro, I just, I was just broke. I like, no, man, that's stealing. Like, what? You crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I also want to tell the truth about banking. Any of you guys who said that the bank switches your transactions around to make you be overdrawn, it's absolutely true. If you do mm -hmm. like, if you do six transactions in a row and then the last one puts you over by like a dollar, they'll move the bigger transactions to the front and make you overdraw six or seven times on purpose to get overdraft fees. What? Wow. Yes, I don't care. All the banks do it. I don't think there's nothing they can do to me. You Who's were right. They that? do do that. They a do do that. You say that. Who, you, who do you bank with though? Do you bank with your own, you got your own bank? Cause now- like, No, I still bank you? with Bank of America, but overdrafting <laughs> is a thing of the past for me, Richie. Oh, I, hey, I feel you, Kev. I want to go to be like you one day. <laughs> hey, let me say, I did Clayton. Clayton Thomas has a new game show called Would You Rather? And uh, I didn't make it to the third round, but the, the person that did ended up losing to him. So I got brought back and I got to pick like the goodie bag. And the goodie bag had like one or two things in it. And so the one I got was a piece of paper that said you have to call your ex and say it's your fault. And I was like, so the person who didn't win got to pull, pull from a goodie bag too. The goodie bag they pulled from had a thousand dollars in it. You tell you, I was so sick, like <laughs> sick. What? Yeah, I was like, why did the goodies range that much? A thousand dollars. I did it too. The, the goodies, the goodies were all over the place. So here, you said you had to call your ex and tell him it was your what? Your fault? Yeah, it was my fault. Like we broke up. I was you like, there that? was no ex before Farron. You did that? No. I told him there was no ex before Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have that ex story. That's one of the benefits of being with Melissa since I was 16. You don't have any oh, exes? Nothing serious. Like Bryson Tiller's album didn't move me because I don't I don't associate with no heartbreak. Heartbreak. I never had nothing serious. Oh, that's nice. I know, but sometimes I miss out on those songs. Like people are like, man, this artist you like if you need to I get over wait. something, and I just be like, man. People can't shut up, Kev. People just can't ever be happy with their good life. Mm. Hey, y'all should y'all should break up for a day just to see what it's like. <laughs> she tried to break up with me in college, Pat. I just I told her I did not accept. <laughs> no, no, this isn't no. We That's I'll, literally I'll, I'll what I did. It. I said I'm gonna go back to my side of campus. I'm gonna let you cool off, and then tomorrow I'll be back to walk. That's what crazy women do. <laughs> No, I said that. times that's been done to me. <laughs> well, did you try to break up with girls and they said no? I have been bullied many a time. <laughs> <laughs> <Not> bullied? <laughs> oh my God. I want to break up with you. No, Patrick. I love oh, you. Though. Shut up. I guess, we, I guess we figuring this out. <laughs> Here's your dinner. Yeah. I don't that's want... Crazy. Oh, I am a little hungry. Fine. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Richie, you and Monique never, never broke up? No. We have not. We've been together. Um, it'll be 14 years uh, in August. No breakup. We all in school nah, together. Man. Nah, we no. We were. Um, we joined the military at the same time we met, and uh, we met at a school in Pensacola, Florida. And then after that, eight months later, we got married, and we've married ever since. What's what a school? A school is where you go to uh, your rate, um, your your uh, job, like where you going to do in the Navy, like once you're in the fleet. So. They like class, you go to classes and they teach you all about your job. And then you out there and don't do your job. So what was your job in the Navy? Me, I was a avionics technician, AT. What's that? He just said it, avionics. Uh, I've heard avionics. the word to hear. I don't know what avionics means. Planes. <laughs> Planes, a plane, aviation. You don't get yeah. the derivative of the word, Kevin? Take oh, now you can say derivative, but you can't say car. I can't say car. <laughs> Didn't you work at Boeing? 
Yes, bro. I was just inputting stuff. I told y'all. Well, first of all, he said Navy, so I wasn't associating. I forgot that the Navy had planes. I, I, I it didn't really click. Yeah, why ships? does the Navy have planes? Because they got the battleships. They be, they be, they be launching yeah, the fighter jets. Um, we were, we were on a. Uh, I was on a carrier, so we, we would take, you know, the um, we would take the the planes. I don't. Out onto the ship, and then we'll like travel. You know what I mean? In case we have to go bomb some stuff, the planes are already there in the middle of the ocean. We just launch right. them off. But I always thought that the carriers was like a collab with the Air Force. Isn't that the Air Force taking off of the? No, that's all Navy. So that's there are Navy. Navy fighter like pilots. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Does that just mean yeah. that their plane is in the water? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> what? You, what? Like I'm just saying, like the difference between the, the the people flying planes in the Navy and the people that are flying. I thought everyone in the plane was in air in, in the Air Force. That was just. Well, not, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think the Navy has more aircraft than the Air Force. Believe it or not. Yeah, I don't really? Know. I don't know anything. Them, bro, the Air Force collab was... like they were working on a rap song. Like yo, this this, this battle is is the Navy featuring Air Force on the F-16s. <laughs> the Air Force is so lax. They, they literally have like a uniform top, but you can wear jeans on Friday. That's how lax. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you can go in there and Nike slides and some Levi. <laughs> hey, the funny Richie, thing is, it is, really, yeah. it is really lax compared to the other, um, yeah, other arms. And I got kicked out of Air Force ROTC. That should tell you how terrible of an airman I was. Damn. They didn't yeah, like the way that your uniform fit. They was like, get your thick ass out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> he said no clean. Bunch in the front. Uh-uh. <laughs> Kevin will walk in every day playing by milkshake brings out the boys. <laughs> 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 Rebel. Hey, Richie. Yeah. Does, the, does the Air Force have boats? Does the Air Force? I don't believe so. Oh, but I believe I, I believe the army the army has more boats than the navy. If that makes sense. I feel like you're saying a bunch of stuff that ain't true, Richie. But wait, boats are I'm different from you. ships, though. Boats I'm are serious. different than ships. So exactly. Both they can have boats, boats. They like have those are the little speedos. Oh, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Here, you thought you were gonna get away with this? <laughs> he looked around at you. <laughs> what he looked saying? like he was trying to say speeders. He said speedors. <laughs> I, I didn't know if y'all could see my eyes, but I literally was like, shit, shit, shit. shit. <laughs> I looked at everybody individually to see if anybody had caught me. Hey, Richie, no. when did you? Were you ever on a submarine? No, I no, man, no. I'm I'm a bit claustrophobic, so I can't, I can't. Yeah, no, I think Ooh, the I stuff is at the door, baby. The, the the battleship has parts that are underwater, though, right? Like the, the carrier, yeah. Like yeah. once you go down, once once you go down so many decks, you're like you're yeah. you're below the water line. So, um, but it was we actually got to jump off an of aircraft carrier, like from the got elevators. Yeah, we, we got to jump off into the Indian Ocean, man. It was fun. Oh, that sounds. Wait, like what, Richie? What you talking? Yeah, bro, we did. We had a we had a swim call, and we and they let us jump off the side of the ship. How high is it? Um, I, I think. I think 34, 35 feet, something like that. I would have done it. That's Why'd you say you get to? I, I feel like I would be like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, it's a, it's a, it's a once-a-lifetime experience to be right. like, bro, I'm about to jump off this elevator, uh, this aircraft, off an aircraft carrier into the Indian Ocean. Like, but bro, there's crazy. sharks in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, but we get in the cars and drive on these crazy. Ain't no sharks on the 405, Richie. But there's a lot of drunk people and people who in their phones like this right. while they going 60 miles per hour. A, to a to oh, you feel me? They dog while they driving all of that. <laughs> or jacking off or here. preparing or to jack off. I pulled over. I pulled I over. Saying, yeah, but while you were thinking about it, you were distracted. That meat got hard. You were like, man, let me go ahead and pull uh, over. I can't even Don't say straight. that meat. Don't ever, ever <laughs> say that to another grown man ever. I hate that meat. What's wrong with that meat? Just say your meat. That's even better, actually. That yeah. your meat is horrible. Don't just don't meat. say that. Just stop what talking. What about what about this, Pat? The meat in question. No. <laughs> The, the alleged meat. About what about, meat. What about the alleged oh, meat? The canned alleged ham meat. got hard. <laughs> <laughs> the alleged meat in question. <laughs> anyway, so what's worse, losing your wallet or losing your phone? Losing your phone. 
Losing far. your phone is worse. Losing sure. your phone. Because now, if you would have asked me this before iPhones, it would have been different. But like the old Nokia. I was gonna say, I said, before iPhones, because back in college, I had lost my purse with my wallet and my tithe money. That was the first time I got in a fight. And I, it was the worst. Did you win? Did you win? Oh, they weren't doing anything, Meg. Stop, stop flexing. You was, y'all was screaming Bible scriptures at each other. That was the whole no. fight. Megan Thomas, you've been in a fight. My one and only fight. I was in college, and it was a at a party, and I had set my purse down by the DJ like we always do. Me and my girls. Cause he was our homeboy we put it on the table and somebody had went under there while we was in the middle dancing and they took our purses but specifically they just like they put everybody else's purse back they took mine i couldn't find it and i was mad because i had like 70 dollars in tithe money in there and i was like you stole from the lord whoever took my purse that was okay, like wait. seven months of rent for you so i know you were upset <laughs> Man, wait, cor <laughs> correction too correction too about what i said about not a myth but the Navy, I mean, the Army does have, the Army has more uh, aircrafts than the Air Force. So that's why I was. Well, oh. I, feel like a, I feel like a little kid because I thought that cars and tanks was the Army, all boats was the Navy, and then all planes was the Air Force. I don't no. think that's a, I don't think that's a, a, I think a, a wild assumption. I think it's a common misconception. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't think you, growing up on military bases, we, we saw different, but I don't think most people knew that. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, Pat, what about you? Up. Losing your uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. We gotta, we gotta fi finish this story about uh, Meg beating up somebody over Tide money. No, so I was already riled up, okay, because they even stole my purse at this party. I'm just trying to have a good time, right? So next thing you know, this girl that had like rode with us, um, I guess she, I knew her, I've known her like my whole life, but I guess she had some issues with me, and she thought I had said that her brother who was there <laughs> stole my purse. And I never said that because he rode with us too. Like, wow, he's in my purse. Like, he he would have it when we left, right? So she comes storming across the room. He's like, get your finger out of my brother's face. He ain't steal your stuff. And I was like, I didn't say he did, but your finger's in my face. And I'm going to fight you because you just stole my purse. Or somebody stole my purse and not happy about it, right? So then, <laughs> you know, usually Christian little man just walk away like, the Lord be with you. And I'll just like walk, right? But not today. So I got back in her face and my best friend was like, pulled me out the way and was like, Let's just go upstairs. So we go upstairs at this party. I'm still trying to figure out who done took my purse. The girl comes up the stairs and I'm sitting down. She's like reaching over me, you know, in my face, like, you ain't blah, 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 just cursing me out, right? So I was like, I'm done with this. So I got up and I smacked her hand out of my face. But when I smacked her hand, I purposely smacked her face. And back then I used to wear like three rings on each hand. <laughs> so I smacked it and she was like, <gasps> Now, mind you, this girl was like 120, and I always been a little thick and thick. So I was like at least 160, 170 at the time. So she, as soon as I did this and smacked her face, she was like, <gasps> she hit me with that right, and I don't even, I just went. I have an older brother, and he always taught me just to fight, so I just kept going. I so, Meg, you, you, when I you slapped somebody while wearing no, no, to hear six rings. She backhanded back somebody, which is right. 10 okay. times okay. more disrespectful back than the open somebody, hand. While wearing six different rings, um, so you've been a hood rat all your life, is what you're saying. You're, basically, you're a hood rat. There's a pimp. But here you have a tramp stamp on your back, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I never denied that I was a hood rat. You were the one that I always acted holier than that. I've only been rat. in one fight, and it was in college. It was not like I was <laughs> fighting my whole life. And then I, all I know is I just blacked out and I just started punching. And then it took my best friend pulling me off of her yeah. for me to be like, oh. And when I was done, I felt so bad. I had like scraped, and she was real chocolate. I scraped the meat off of her nose to the white meat. And I was With like, the ring? I felt bad about that. Man beat the brakes off somebody. And then prayed for it. Went to the hospital with her and prayed for it right afterwards. Put that bloody tide money in there. It was <laughs> right. Man, why'd you have seventy dollars in, in, in ties? Will you stockpile it? Did like just give it all at the end no, of the I month? Had, I had made like um I think that's what it was, actually. Yeah, now that you mention it, I think I just was like not turning money in. Yeah. Like, I just was putting it all to the side. I was like, oh, I'm going to church tomorrow. I'm just putting it in my purse. And then I went to a party. They're like, who put tea? Just to let y'all know that, uh, well, <laughs> not you, Meg, but everybody in LA, they, they're back delivering groceries at Ralph. So you ain't got to go there no more. So, man, yeah. that was a rough time in my life. Instacart, when Instacart was down, I felt like a common person again. I was like, ugh. But at Ralph's right now, you can pay like seventy nine ninety nine and get free deliveries for the whole year. 
I will pay a hundred to get it for two years. Yeah. I know. It's like, a car. You would, you would order it on on Monday, <laughs> and it was like, we'll give you your food by, by Saturday. And I'm like, bro, that's I need it. I want it now. Yeah, we just ordered food yesterday. So. I'm so I can't do that. I don't like it. I'm too much of a produce snob. Meg, you gotta stop. If you if if produce is your thing, it doesn't work. If if that's, that's the one thing, they just do not care. So I like you should see the descriptions in my Instacart for the produce. So it's like no bruised fruit, must be this shade. Make sure it is. <laughs> oh, that's the worst, Meg. When you put something and it's not in stock, and they just bring you whatever's available. Like yo, don't do that. They need to have an option for like. Like, don't bring it if they don't have it. It's like with the middle seat, when you apply for the upgrade and they'll upgrade you to the middle seat, but now you can like say, if it ain't a window or aisle, I don't want it. Because like, I hate when they like give you a brand or something that, or something similar that is not it. I'm like, bro, don't, like, I'll take it back. I'll take it back. And they and doing the quarantine, oh, now you like, got time to go to the store. Like, you go take this return, fam. <laughs> To hear everybody's oh, talking. They, the, kid, the kids say that they do have that option called no substitution. I don't know. I've never done it. Farron always does a grocery job, so whatever. Okay, yeah. Anyway, well, Pat, give, know, me your, your, um, give me your um, give me your your answer, Pat. Uh, I would definitely say it's worse to lose your phone because if you lose your wallet, you have you have your phone to call the bank and cancel everything at least. So definitely worse to lose your phone. Cool, and I say phone as well. So that's unanimous with the phone. Perfect. I didn't even say mine. Like so rude. You say what, Mo? I mean, man. I didn't even say mine. What do, What do you want, man? To hear doesn't like black women. I know he doesn't. Ooh. Don't do that, big musty. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was gonna say this day and age, probably your phone, because your phone typically costs more than most people's wallet, because most people don't really have designer wallets like that. But um, if you do have a designer wallet, everybody. that's probably worse. But I'm gonna go with phone. Okay. Cool. So it's unanimous with the phone, man. Awesome. Uh, phone's out here taking home the W. Definitely don't want to lose that. I said it right, Kev, so get your stupid fat finger off your fat, stupid ear. Were you saying awesome? Hey, right, guys, we're going to move on to this next topic hey, Tom, right he after this. All right, but he said, I ain't, guys, because he knew that he was wrong. Back to you guys. Right after this. Listen, guys, shopping for life insurance can raise a lot of questions. How much coverage do you need? Which insurance company is the best to go with? And most importantly, how much should it even cost? And at a time when it's more important than ever to have life insurance, the pandemic is making it so much more complicated to even get it. But don't worry because that's where Policy Genius comes in. As a life insurance marketplace backed by a team of experts, Policy Genius is keeping track of all the changes in the market so you don't have to. They'll find out the right amount of coverage you need at the best possible price without the headache. Policy Genius compares quotes from the top life insurance companies in one place. And it takes just a few minutes to compare the quotes from the top insurance to find the best price for you. This doesn't just save you a lot of legwork. It can also save you $1,500 or more a year by using Policy Genius to compare the top life insurance policies. Here's the thing. Once you apply, the Policy Genius team will handle all the paperwork and the red tape. So if you hit any speed bumps along the way during the application process, they'll be there to take care of everything. It doesn't get any easier than that, guys. Listen, we've all had family members who passed away and didn't have coverage or didn't have enough coverage. We know how much of a headache that is. Don't put you, your friends, or family through any of that. If you or a family member or a friend needs life insurance but doesn't know where to start, head over to policygenius.com right now. Policy Genius will find you the best rate and handle the process completely. They'll get you and your family protected and hopefully give you one less thing to have to worry about. Try it today. Again, that's policygenius.com. P-O-L-I-C-Y-G-E-N-I-U-S.com. Second topic of the day we have, would you rather vacation at a ski resort or a tropical island? Easy. Wait, first of all, how many people here have been to a ski resort? Come on, man. We're cultured here. Not me. Not me either. Kev? I, I, I have no desire ever to be cold on purpose. What? You've never been to no. the snow? Wait, wait, wait. So the people who've been to a ski resort, can you, like, tell us real quick? 
Well, I don't I think, think it's it fun though. I saw it's a resort, but it's 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 just a resort like in the snow. It's not like a whole like, <laughs> lot going on outside. You know, I mean the resort and the inside is like any like a tropical resort. So it's like it's not that. Okay, I mean, the ski, I'm, I'm, the ski resorts are like way more expensive. Like just the the whole art of skiing, like the ski lift itself is like two hundred dollars, right? Oh yeah, well that, that that stuff is a lot more expensive. I mean, but then also like okay, you go to a tropical place, you like rent jet skis. That's like to that man, Hawaii will run you crazy. Yeah, but, I mean, they got packages on things like Travel Zoo where you can get like the all inclusive thing. So you can get like outside of like your means of getting there, your transportation getting there, like they got a package deal. So it'd be like a weekend at Big Bear and it comes with you know, the the ski lodge and that lift and the ski instructor and all of that type of stuff. So you can get that whole package probably for like eight hundred dollars, eight hundred to twelve hundred dollars. Skiing is fun though. Have y'all been before? I wanna go. I would I would definitely do like like a big bear cabin situation. I would I would I've like to that. do that. You That's said to go skiing? I've done Big Bear Cabin, but it we know. went on those little like inner tube things, but not like like Pat went to a ski resort. Oh Pat, they had a house. They had a butler and a maid. They had a maid's quarters. Pat What's your name now, Pat? You could do that? Pat is, listen, his cousin went in the FJ Cruiser for this. Like, we had just filmed uh, an episode of, right, uh, not Righteous Ratchet, but uh, Damn It and That You Scared. And Fred had just came back. He had, like, this FJ Cruiser that was souped up with these vampire-killing bright-ass lights. It had the gas tank on the back. It had the winch. It had all of this shit. And Pat had just packed some fucking T-shirts. And I was like, what are you, what are you doing, man? I don't even know what an FJ Cruiser is, so that sounds. It's a rich. Toyota. It's a Toyota truck. It was more. It was like a Jeep. Um, but no, we didn't have a. We didn't have a. Uh, yeah, that sounds rich. Uh, <laughs> yeah, while you were there, Pat. So it, that's what I was gonna say. It really depends on why you vacation, because like if you're going to chill, it's like. It's just like, you know, a tropical beach. If you just want to go out and lay out, you could do that in a ski resort. But, you know, if you've been to somewhere that's like snowing like crazy, it's it's dope. But you're, you're, you're probably just going to be in the house, probably by the fire or just like chilling while it's snowing. But if you're going to like snowboard or snowmobile or something like that, it's actually kind of exhausting. Because like Meg said, you have to get a lift ticket, which is really expensive. You have to rent a whole bunch of stuff if you don't uh, do that sport regularly. And it's like, if you're there for like three, four hours and you've never done it before, you're sore, you're exhausted. You know what I mean? It's, it's actually a lot of, it's, it's a lot. That's why I prefer snowmobiling. But um, if you're just trying to chill, I would say tropical desert. I mean, tropical beach for sure. The snowmobile like goes the, oh, Go ahead, Terry. I've seen like the resorts where they have like, like they have like the cabins and they also have like the, the condos and stuff like that. And they got the the outside, like jacuzzi, so you're in the super warm water, but yeah. it's like snow outside, and everybody got their drinks and stuff like that. Like, that looks dope as hell to me, like, to have your own jacuzzi in the snow, you're drinking, whether it be, like, spiked eggnog or spiked hot chocolate, whatever it is, like, that shit looks dope as hell. I would I would like that, because you're not cold for long. Like, the only cold part is literally getting out of the jacuzzi and going into the house, but the That's water's hella warm, <laughs> and you're drinking, so you got that oil in you. I was, and I will say, I've, I've been skiing before, and it was so, at first I was so scared because I was like, it's too much. First of all, it's not a white people sport. I mean, a black people sport <laughs> for good reason, because we don't like the cold, and it's just scary. But when I actually did it, I ended up, the first time I went down the little bunny hill, and then the second time we went down the medium hill by accident. But like once we was up there, we couldn't, like you had to get down the hill and i will tell you i almost died and it was the most exhilarating it was so much fun i will go skiing again That's so like hope. even though i've been to the beach and i love the beach i don't know this is hard i don't know if i would pick no Dude, jet skis go as fast as snowmobiles pat um snowmobiles could go pretty fast i would i would say that jet skis is really overrated because like they don't be talking about how much it hurts like once oh, you man. once you it do it for like 20 30 minutes like your your butt bone is just you've been doing that it, your your grip is shot like it hurts but snowmobiling is um the the reason i like it is it it they do go really really fast but it doesn't like it doesn't hurt to to it doesn't to, have that same bounce the way you but that's also that right? that's also dependent too like where you're just getting that though like you're just getting where there's a lot of chop you know what i mean then you're going to have the bounce but if you go somewhere towards like the uh, breaking wall like in the beach then it's, oh, it's okay Ricky, water. Ricky with the with the with the jargon okay 
Yeah, it's, it's common. <laughs> I've never, every time I've been, it's been a lot of. Wait, wait, no, Tom, we caught that. Tahir said Ricky <laughs> like five times in a row, and he looked around yeah. like we didn't notice. Hey, we Ricky. Him, man. We caught yeah. You. Wherever to hear is, there's a lot of pork chops in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's choppy out. I meant to ask you this. I'm sorry to go completely off topic. Rich, Richard, when you were in the Indian Ocean, where were you in the world? Where were you in the world? Yeah, like where were you stationed? Like, were you off the coast? Because the Indian Ocean is big. Where were you right. guys, like, docked near? I really don't know, my man. Honestly, the quartermaster would know exactly where we were at because we can't like give up our location. You know what I mean? So the quartermasters, the captains, oh, you they were out there in God's whole ocean and didn't know exactly where y'all was at. I don't think I don't know. Like, bro, we, when you in the military, they, bro, when you in the military, they tell you what you need to know. <laughs> yeah. That's it. You don't need to know that. You don't, you ain't gonna know that. Yeah, so how do you know like, it was the Indian yeah. Ocean? It could have been. It could have been the Pacific Ocean. No, it was. The, it, it, no, it was definitely Indian Ocean because of the temperature. Like it was warmer. It was warmer. Like we've been, been to uh, Pacific Ocean and it's a lot cooler. The Indian Ocean is a lot warmer. Wow. Because of the climate. Wait, yeah. How did y'all get back on? Oh, you swam around to the back of the ship. It's oh about, God. Uh, yeah. Oh man, there's a lot of people who didn't know. Like, cause I like. I'm from LA, man. People think, you know, if you're from the hood, you can't swim. Like, I can swim my ass off. I'm pretty good. I'm a really good swimmer. So I knew how to fight the currents. A lot of people got in there and was like, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's strong, bro. I know you got to really fight it. And people were just trying to, you know, trying to show out and go as fast as they can. I'm like, bro, stop. Like, this bro, is like, Indian so Ocean could be any, he could be anywhere in India, Southeast Asia, Western Asia, Northeast Africa, East Africa, Southern I, Africa. I want to know, you know what? But, but no, but, but no, honestly, um, if we were on a um, we we're on a West Pack, so we were probably most likely like South, like uh, Southwest Asia, most likely. What's most the West Pack? Oh, the West Pacific. Yeah, West. Yeah, we're going. We're going. We're going this. We're going to West Pack. So we were. I, I, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we had to be there because obviously, well, yeah. I thought everybody from the Navy was like an expert. Like you could look at the stars or the sun and tell. Oh, no. exactly oh my you God! Know. You would. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Most people, I don't, I can't speak for the Navy, but most people in the Army is just niggas who wanted to get a good paying job. They are <laughs> or, buy, or buy a charger or buy a charger, bro. And people just be in there doing regular jobs, supply drivers, transportation. They are not patriotic like that. Did not necessarily go no, to no. Their country. Niggas was trying to get a Jeep <laughs> deal. Y'all was on the boat like, where are we? <laughs> no, we, no, because no. Black people do not necessarily be joining military for patriotic reasons. It's more right. for a, a good job, benefits, and taking college, care of it. Or a charger, nigga. Or, or a charger. No <laughs> joke. You laughing. But them GIs that was taking all them high school girls, it was because they had charges. Taking us up had charges. Charges. Had that RT shaker, nigga. <laughs> the shaker package. Does, does, does Charger have like a like an exclusive deal with them or something? Bro, I don't know why all the military dudes buy the same car, but the 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 Charger, the Charger, the, Camaro, the, Charger and the Challenger are like just today's muscle cars. So if you want to get a muscle car, you don't want to spend like eighty to one hundred twenty thousand on a Corvette. You would get you would spend a good forty. 41, 45,000 on a charger. Oh, it's, so, it's not like you got a, a charger with application. It's no, like, no, 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 no. money it's just, like, it's just a muscle car. So everybody was just buying the exact same thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. When, yeah, the, when the Chrysler 300 came out, oh my God. It was like, <laughs> the military niggas was like, this is our car, guys. Let's go. Richie, did you buy a car? Did I buy a car? That nigga's on yeah, his water. He don't need no car. Wait, but the whoa, 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 hold on, man. We were out, we were out in the water, but I mean, we we spent a lot of time in the port too. I think we were out to see the longest time though, like straight without like um, pulling in. Uh, um, we were about like sixty-two days straight in the ocean. Oof. Were y'all doing drills or were y'all were you actually we like do drills? We we stay and we were like so going to west like I really, yeah we were in south southeast Asia and. Um, we, I think we were by, like, for instance, uh, Korea. Remember Korea was talking all that? Well, more than not talking all that shit, but <laughs> the very, <laughs> yeah, what's the very up, first, man? like, back in 2006, um, we were, like, you know, he was talking, it just seemed like we, we went off the coast of, um, right off of, uh, where's he at? South, South Korea, we're down there, and we were getting ready in case shit was about to pop off, you know? We, like, we're, we about to like strike, you know what I'm saying? So that's what that's what the ocean, that's what Navy is for, like because they're patrolling the seas. Because imagine you have to send a plane 
way from the coast of California or New York or wherever to fly over to these countries. So, oh. you know, we already got them out on this aircraft carrier in case you want shit to pop off. Like, we right here. You see what I'm saying? They we, pick we up the phone like, bitch ass nigga, we'll be there in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Say yeah, less. Say less. F16s. That, that, let's that, go. That, Niggas that, hopping the planes that, and shit. That's really what it is. Yo, like to hear you laughing, but that's basically how it works, though. Yeah, it does, though. It does. So we, like, we knew we're we'll in the Indian Ocean. They, they can't tell us like specifically like where we at because it's, it's a more of a need to know basis. You know what I mean? Like, you need to know exactly where our direct location is. Like, why? For what reason? You, you need to tell somebody. You ask, hey, that. where are we? Like, why do you need to know? I'm yeah. just curious. No. Shut up. Back to your no. hole, sailor. We know we off the Indian Ocean. We know if we're, like, close to, like, you know, Korea or Thailand. We know that, but it's not, like, your direct coordinates. You can be you by see, Thailand and still be, like, so far off. We don't know. Huh? Did it stink on there? No, you know what, man? It didn't It didn't stink. It was just crowded. It was just packed. You know what I mean? Like, you just ran into people, like, you didn't have like no way to escape people. You know what I'm I saying? Know, I've been on a couple of aircraft carriers, like in, in different parts of the world, just to like you like you know how they're like museums or whatever, and gone mm -hmm. down to the bottom. Oh my! I cannot imagine being stuck on there for 62 days. Right. All I smelled was like man feet and armpits because I I <laughs> walked past the boys' door before and I was like, oh. Oh That's yeah, you, you get some nasty people. Those people, we were on their head. Like you couldn't be in the cubicle with us, and you stunk. Like it was just like a no no. Like you, that's what you pick. We gonna sleep in a cubicle with you because it's like six of us in the cubicle. It's three on one side, three racks, and it's another three racks, and it's like that. Literally, like this wide. You know what I mean? Like I can, and it's so you but gotta you be had like, a bunk extra. for sixty two days. Yeah, it was it's like one, two, three, like a middle bunk, and then the top, and then the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. It'll bug when people farted. Were well, y'all like, all right, man. Like, it, that's a lot of people in one room for farting. You, you know what, though? But you work, but depending on your job, like, you, okay, you work 12 hours just about every, you Yo, work 12 hours like every day. Yo, Richie, Meg said what happened when people farted like she was five years old. <laughs> hey, hey, man, who farted? <laughs> Don't actually do that. <laughs> a lot of stinkiness. That is. It okay, is. So it was rare that it was like six people in the room at one time. But we all knew each other. That's what I'm saying. Right, you pick right. your homeboys. You know what I mean? Like, it was one guy. His name was Henry, man. This dude just smelled like, he just smelled like fungus. Like, he was just, wow. <laughs> he just stunk, bro. He just smelled <laughs> like the inside of a trash can. Yeah. We had to tell him, like, bro, you, <laughs> like a garbage can, not a trash, house trash can. I'm going garbage can. We had to tell him, like, bro, a dumpster? You, a yeah. dumpster. That's outside. So, <laughs> it was just, it was just like, ooh, like, it was just upsetting your stomach. It's like, bro. You either gonna like start showering like twice a day, or you gotta move somewhere else. You know what's crazy? And, and I always joked with my homeboys like, "Yo, if I ever go to jail, I'm just ain't gonna take a shower. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna try to do it to me." He was like, "Cause he had been in jail. He told me he's like, they won't let you do that. Cause you are yeah. in the bunk with everyone else. They will make you take a shower. Yeah, like every day, and then they'll take your booty, and it ain't nothing <laughs> to do about it. <laughs> they can clean it first. Wow." <laughs> Oh, God. Put on deodorant. Hey, Devin, you can do about it. Niggas will walk you to the shower like, now do it. Under your arm, too. <laughs> there ain't nothing you can do. Sorry, <laughs> no, no, not the degree secret. Yeah. Were, there, were there women on your boat? Yeah, there's women on our boat. Yeah. People were having sex. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In a bunk with six people? No, 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 no. You can't do it because it's not, you can't. Obviously, like you know, where are you going? Yeah, people, people, oh man, people find places to go. Game room, engine <laughs> yeah, room, niggas come out, yeah, funky. Room, engine you room, like, funky. Like, hear somebody get their back blown out on deck six. <laughs> black like, blown like, out, like, they hey, got look, black blown, blown out. Hey, the yeah. part, man, the year was on deck out. eight, jacking off to Kenny G. <laughs> like, there's way, <laughs> nah, nah, don't look. try to slide past it. You say they got their black blown out, that's what you just said, <laughs> fat tongue McGee. Now, do it to yourself. <laughs> Do it. Hey, Tom, it's happening again. Kevin's, <laughs> Kevin, he's doing the thing he gets out to here for. Hey, we, um, the call the funniest thing is that, um, I was out on the catwalk and it's like where the flight deck is. It's the side we can like get around from on the flight deck. And, um, I, wa I walked up there one night and I had my flashlight and I, <laughs> I just look over, bro. And it's this, <laughs> they completely naked, but he had his. <laughs> He had his helmet on. <laughs> what helmet? 
His Navy helmet on? His cranial. His cranial for when you're on a flight deck. I don't know, for every reason. I'm like, but, bro, you had to take your shirt off. So did you take your shirt off? And- <laughs> He's like, I ain't getting in trouble, baby girl. They ain't gonna know who I am. Safety first. Like, with, the, with the fighter pilot helmet on is hilarious. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, they completely naked, bro. I was you like, had to yeah, tell him to put that on. You look sexy, Top, top Gun. It wasn't a pilot helmet. It's a cranial. If you look it up, you Google cranial. Right, like, right, it, right. It's not. It's safety it's helmet. Not a, Hold on, a grid, yeah, basically. All right, so let's go ahead and tally it up real right now. Uh, where would you like to vacation? I'm going to the beach because I love the beach. A hey, and I collect sand. <laughs> the cranial yeah. helmet is hilarious. Oh yeah, my god! Yeah, it's way funnier now seeing the image than even I could have imagined. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one thing he had on his uh, person was that. Cranial oh, that's helmet. hilarious! Yeah. Now, did he have the glasses on too, Richie? No, he just said, I, well, I, can, I don't know, because they had their they back turned to him, and they were like, kind of like scattered and like moved. I was like, bro, I just took the light off, and I was like, that's crazy. Did they have but shoes on? <laughs> they took their shoes I off? Don't, I, don't, I don't think he had shoes on. I, I kind of maybe kind of from like the shins up a little bit, because I wasn't trying to be like, hey, 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 you know what I mean? Like a, a creep, but I mean, they were on some creepy wow. shit too, so I guess. But. <laughs> Boiler rooms. Kev, what are yeah. you going with? Uh, Beach. Oh, okay. that's right. That's what, we're what about you, Pat? Uh, yeah, I would go tropical beach. I'm gonna go beach as well, man. We tropical people. So that's not really? that's not play around. I, yeah. I would actually go. I would go to the ski resort. That's because you've never done it, though. No, never- no, it's not just that though. Like I don't like being like ridiculously hot. Like as I feel like like it's only so much you could take off. And if you on like a traditional. Tropical beach and they don't have like AC at the hotel. Like you just gotta sleep in whatever that climate is. See, I'd rather sleep you, somewhere where I can make it warmer to get comfortable than not have the option to make it cooler to get comfortable. Yeah, because you can't see, take your rest off and they sweat. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you say that to here because you've never been cold, cold. Like as hot as you gonna get it's probably like 115. I've been cold, bro. I've Richie, been in like I'm, some I'm from the Midwest. 15. Negative. I'm from the Midwest. I'm not from LA. You forget, I'm not from here. I'm from St. Louis. Oh. We get real. So, we get real winners. We get like, okay. Negative so three. negative three. So that you can't say that's more comfortable than being in 110. That's not. Here's, here's what I'm saying, Richie. Here's the thing. Like, okay, you've been laying on the beach for an hour, two hours, right? And now you're ready to go back to your room, but your room because you're on a traditional, like, like really. This is a tropical area. resort, though. They got they got ACs and tropical right. resorts. Wait a minute. You said right. resort. I, mean, you I don't say, know. It depends on where no you at, man. It depends on where you at, man. You ain't in the resort if you ain't got AC. Hotel six right. has AC. <laughs> you talking about? You ain't in the resort if you ain't got AC. Shut up! You don't know. You don't know how you can get cool. You wet. know you can get warm. That's all I'm saying. If you have you, know, you know they got a, you know they got a fireplace. You know you're gonna have a. Okay, so what they got a fireplace? Then we ain't got no AC. What they ain't got no fireplace? And now you just you you bundle up on your vacation. Come on, come on, bro. They got a fireplace. Don't do that. But they got AC. You they just ain't think free. about that. Don't be mad. You ain't think about that. Oh, no, you get your sweaty <laughs> ass up, okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. No, snow will ruin your day before sand does, though. Because I'm you, trying to tell you, yo, bro, we nah, took snow. Don't get in places that it don't come out. Sand, on the other hand, sand is relentless. Yeah, you but, dip yourself in the water and the sand is gone to here. But you think about it. That's people have more. People people have more good time no. actually, like more of a better time, like on the beach partying, like well, you can. You know, take stuff off. You got your bikini on, whatever. <laughs> and as far as the snow, you like just bundle up. There's nothing cool yeah. about that. Nobody's trying to party in that shit. Like, who's gonna do that? I, 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 hear you. You know, I, mean, I said what I said, though, Richie. All right. And I ain't doing right. the clips and I ain't jo- changing my answer. So just let it go. <laughs> For sure. All right, cool. And we're going to get on to this next topic. Uh, it looks like the, the, the tropical resorts has it on this one, but I ain't going with it. I want the snow on this one. Last topic of the day. Who is your favorite or who is better? However you want to judge this, Regina King versus Angela Bassett. Man. Wait, wait. Are two black women. Wait, why? Wait, what? Are they beefing or something? Am I, uh, am I unaware of something? What happened? <laughs> no, I think it's like, just. who's your favorite actor? Right. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I was going to say, like, what? I thought you, I thought you said versus. Oh, um. <laughs> versus. Right, I just, I just, I'm like, thought they about to like fight or some shit. Uh, this is really hard, y'all. Not for me. You think on one hand, like about Angela Bassett, all the amazing movies she's done, waiting to exhale, uh, um, 
Tina Turner, goddamn me. I mean, so many movies. Like, she was in Black Panther. Like, yo, she's had an amazing career. She was Katherine Jackson in, in the Jackson 5 American Dream. She got my favorite scene. You a liar and you a cheat. And I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you no more. Oh, I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you no more. That was an action night at a Christian household right there, just watching a Jackson 5. <laughs> Shut it down. I think. Uh, Are we doing Regina? Did you say Regina King or Hall? Regina King. 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 Oh. I think. I, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm leaning more towards Regina King. Hmm. Mm. Why? Right out the Why? gate. Why? Yeah. I mean, just because she's been in more movies that I mean. I liked her body of work as far as it's not just her acting, but like the films that she's been in, like versus towards like I mean, versus Angela Bassett. So, I you know, Regina King has been in a lot of stuff in our life. I think she started off. Yes. Uh, what was she in when she was a kid? Was it like two two um two seven two two seven right? Oh yeah, was it two two seven? What was it called? Janet Jackson. Jackson. It was, it was two two seven. She was Brenda Jenkins on two two seven. See, there okay. we go. So what was Janet Jackson in? Poetic Justice? Poetic Justice. Oh. <laughs> well, so was, uh, so was Regina King. Regina King was in Poetic uh, Justice. What's happening? Was it what's happening that, that Janet Jackson was in? It was good in? times. It was good, good times. times. Good times? Yeah, it was good times. That's what I'm saying. Regina King is like, was like, uh, you know, Poetic Justice and Friday. And um, she did. I love the Boondocks. I mean, she did. She did voices for Huey and that. I mean, it's it's. I just I just messed with Danny King more. She does a lot of directing too. She directed Bro, a couple, yeah. uh, episode uh, of um, Insecure. She yeah. was one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, Emmy of the State. She was fantastic. Oh my god! Woo. I love oh, that yeah. movie. Though. People don't even talk about that. That's one hey, of my. Favorite. Even, hey, That's my favorite you know, Will Smith movie ever. Me too. To hear. Hey, do you know that? Do you know that role was offered to Tom Cruise first? Really? Turn it down. Yeah, Tom Cruise is supposed to be. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's supposed to be the leader. It would not be my favorite movie. If, if not at all. By it's really good though. He's good at those movies. Like they're coming. Yeah. Those movies. He's great at. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> if you go back and look at that movie now, it's so many like up and comings in there. Jack Black was Bro. in there. Uh, Seth Green was in there. It's a lot of up and comings in that movie. That was actually the first time I was like, oh, Regina King is kind of sexy. I don't, I've never seen her. Oh, like, she took that thing off in the um. Yeah. Man. Man, that's, <laughs> that. that's your Christmas present. And, and then yeah, she was yeah, also. But I uh, missed you. I remember in this I Christmas too, me. she was banging. She was banging in this Christmas too, right? Remember she took her thing off and she like set him uh, up and she whooped his ass in the shower. You remember that scene? Regina King. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the difference from the, Angela Bassett is a legend. Absolutely. Regina King can be funny as well. I haven't seen Angela Bassett mm -hmm. be as funny as I've seen Regina. Well, Regina then you've King never seen a black lady sketch show because she was hilarious on there. Angela Bassett? Yeah. yeah. I've seen that show. Yeah, I didn't see that really episode, though. She's mm -hmm. not known for being as funny as Regina right. King. The thing well, I mean, she is technically, I mean, she's a, dram you, she's a dramatic actress. Like, she's done mostly dramatic stuff. Actor, Meg, they don't say actress anymore. They don't give it genders, okay? Give it the okay. time. Mm. They dramatic say actor. actor. So Either way, I mean, you, she's a legend because she has done so many dramatic roles, but she's had, like, roles where she's had, like, funny stuff. She was a kindergarten cop. I don't know if y'all remember that movie. Yeah. About I remember that movie, but I don't remember her being in there. I remember her being in there. Yeah. She's a, little, a funny little line on there. She's done a few funny things, but we don't ever remember her for that. Yeah, she, uh, Regina King acted her butt off in The Watchmen. Mm, okay. Oh, she, I love it. I love her. I love her in there. Fantastic like, in The Watchmen. I love it. The but I don't know. So here's the thing. I love both these women, but I feel like Angela Bassett has... I don't know what the word is. I don't want to say range because that's not the right word. But that's what you said, though. It's it's not that's not the right word that I mean because they both had like a dynamic, you know, different types of roles. But something about Angela Bassett's acting, like I can feel her and like I can feel her as a mother. I can feel her as a grandmother. I can believe that she is. Um, she works for the president. I can believe. Is that it believability? Back. Like I feel like there's there's more things that I could believe that she's done than I can believe Regina King for. Like, that's range. Well, <laughs> that's maybe that is. I don't know. I feel like that's just my 
the right word for some reason. I don't know. So you said like, Rage you is like the ability to play a, play a variety of characters. I think Meg is more talking about believability and, and relatability. Yeah. It's the same. Like, I believe you as this character more whether you're playing a wider variety of characters. Right. If I could believe Angela Bass is somebody's mother or they're, they're somebody's grandmother, I cannot believe, like, it's harder for me to believe that Regina King is somebody's mom or That's grandma. strange. No, if I well, well, believe was the mom of the Watchmen kids. If I, if yeah. I played 10 it, different roles. That was a little hard to believe, I, I'll be honest. It wasn't as... But no, but I think, I think, I think just because you see Angela Bass as older, and she is older, so it's yeah. like... So it's, it's, I think, but like Regina King, she can definitely pull off, you know, the mom bro. Like, you think she can? Yeah. Both of them are beautiful. I saw Regina, I'm not Regina King, but Angela Bassett at the Gordon Brothers hat store in Pasadena. She was with her daughter, like shopping, maybe like right around Christmas time. And she was so chill. Like nobody walked up to her because like, like everybody respected the fact that like she was with a kid and nobody was like, oh my God. Angela Bassett, I just love it. Everybody respected that, but it was it was dope to just see her. Like it's always dope to see like famous people doing regular stuff. Like, oh man, who knows Tom Cruise likes oranges, just like me. I like oranges too. <laughs> <laughs> I think that uh, it's kind of. I feel like they're both amazing, but Regina King is more likely to be in something that I would watch. So mm. and that's what I was gonna Did say. You I watch American like Horror Man. Story, Pat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was Angela Bassett in that? Yeah. Yes. She's, yeah. Good. She's great in that. And she's also in, she was in that last um, um, Mission Impossible. She was great in there. I loved she her in there. In that. She was yeah. in that. I'm, if I have to, if, if it was like, okay, if you had to take one of these actresses away completely and all of the roles that they played, I would prefer Angela Bassett because she's done more iconic mm. roles. She's been better. Love, what's love got to do with it is one of my favorite movies. Like that movie really made me hate. Oh, see, I can't Lord get rid of her Chris body Lord. for years. I was like, he is the devil. Okay? He is the devil. Y'all want to cut Friday, Boys in the Hood. Um, Daddy Daycare, Enemy of the State. <laughs> Not Daddy Daycare. <laughs> I mean, this is this is just the, this is just. The I mean, bo boys Wait, in the hood. Angela Bass was in Boys in the Hood too. Angela Bass was was in Boys in the Hood. Yes, yeah, she was the mom. Well, she was crazy mom. 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 Jerry Maguire, though. Hey, you can't say her role, Jerry Maguire. She didn't get, like Regina King and Jerry Maguire. Jerry, tell me he okay, Jerry. You got need to have kids. He... Come on, bro. So she good, killed that role, bro. It was Boom so dots, nigga. Boondock was, was her, though. Boondock was all her. Man. When the hell you got bitched at by a blind nigga? <laughs> Come on, bro. Like, she <laughs> did both of them. Up. She did both okay, of them. Okay, but hold on a second. Point. You can put diff somebody else's different voice in there because it is voice acting, okay? But you cannot change. You can't take away Bernadine from uh, Waiting to Exhale or Betty Shabazz and Malcolm X or... I think voice uh, actors can bring something the mama in, in Black Panther, you can't take away that stuff. Oh, let, okay, let's not say let's the mama in Black Panther. I mean, she, I mean, Richie, not doesn't, she like bad, the, but. Richie doesn't like Black Panther, he thinks it was no, mid. It was, it was some mid, it was some Reggie to say the least, but <laughs> it, 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 it definitely was no gas in that, bro. But, uh, um, <laughs> like nobody, nobody performance in that movie was just like, I mean, nobody got nominated. For nah, it. Mbaku, I loved Mbaku. Well, he was good, but I mean, you just like uh, anybody performance in that movie didn't, wasn't captivating. You know what? Oh my god! Like you know, cause Andy Circus, he was great. Andy Circus was great. He was great in that. And I honestly was root. This is one of those movies why I was rooting hard for the villain. I was I was rooting hard for Michael B. Why? I I liked his stance, and sometimes I feel like like I like the dark side of. Of a of a of a plot, and I, I like what he was like. He's like, "Yo, we could be using this to free our people. Like, is is a million of our people impressed? I mean, oppressed, and then we could we have the means to." Oh. <laughs> I knew it. I All knew right, it. guys, it's been another episode. <laughs> <It's> actually, funny. <laughs> Y'all do that. Because what he said, Killmonger was like, "Hey, man, our people are impressed, man." <laughs> Wait a minute. One one last thing too. Don't forget Regina King and uh, Ray. She was in Ray. Come in on, what? man. She was in Ray. What? Yeah, she? she was in Ray. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's in Ray. What is Remember, she, she was Ray character. She was no, she was like his backup singer for a while. Remember, and then she ended up coming back around. And then he was messing around with her. Angela Bassett's in Nine One One. I like that show a lot too. Yeah, she's in there, and she was. Oh, I didn't realize she was on BoJack Horseman as the voice of Anna for like. I've been lying between love and hate. 
too. Regina I'm King just saying, that. like, when I think, again, yeah. I love Regina King, but when I think of the body of work, if I had to take away Tina, if I had to take away Betty Shabazz, if I had to take away uh, how Stella got her group, if I had to take away all these roles, because I, I would much rather be like, sorry, Regina King, because I can't take away these movies that were so, like, integral for Black women from, like, 95 to early 2000s. That was all all Angela Bassett. Hold on. Did y'all know that little kid in Ray turned out to be a D1 college receiver? No. Who? No. How do we know that? Why? He was a four-star recruit. I had no idea. We, we, don't, we don't really care. That's not no, even I just looked it up because I didn't. I couldn't remember there Regina. There is King. no football right now, Kevin. None to hear, of that you know, no, to hear can't throw a football. That's why he doesn't. I can throw one. I can throw. I can throw a football really well. I can throw a spiral really well. I have a great arm for throwing the football. However, I don't know anything else about football, so I don't care. Well, your shadow looks Damn. like. A football. <laughs> 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 I'm not saying you're wrong, Pat. All I'm saying is fuck you. <laughs> Whoa. That was so Dang. hard, bro. That was so hard. Pat gets, listen, I don't care. Pat gets a fuck you from me at least six times a week, okay? There's merch. There's merch. Yeah. That's there's literally, merch. We, have, we literally have to get it. It's going to take two months to wear it on the but there's merch. <laughs> That's how often I tell it to him, Rich. <laughs> I heard right, Meg. Go. Meg has a great assessment. They're both legends in my eyes. I feel like Angela Bassett because maybe her career spans a little bit longer. Yeah, and she, she does has have four like, right? iconic older, roles where she was the like, iconic person in them. I'm sorry, go ahead, Meg. No, I'm gonna say because she's older, she does have like a hundred act actor credits, whereas Regina only has fifty. So it's kind of like only I don't know have. if it's even fair. That right, Regina, really? Only. Really? 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 Well, well, get actors, get, because to get actors credits, it's not. It's not like I mean, you don't have to you get actors credit for just any time you like in a you know thing like production. So I, it's not. We know that. I'm just saying when you compare these two now. Okay, Regina King or you, Richie? Then I gotta go with Regina King. But <laughs> <laughs> I would go with your, Regina yeah, King. I was gonna say he so would yeah. too. Shit. Yeah, so shit. But Regina or Angela Bassett? I'm voting Angela Bassett. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Regina King. Man, this is hard. Uh, I, Pat said, I, Angela Bassett has more iconic roles. Regina King is in more things that I've liked in my life. Yes. I'm not watching a lot of the, uh, Angela Bassett be dramatic. I mean, she's really good at it, but just, I don't be watching those movies a lot. Yes, she did. She was in the Waiting to Exhale group on Facebook. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> Pat has some girls out there who are waiting to exhale because of how he treated them. Yep. Oh, to wow. <laughs> Somebody wants to burn your little uh, anime car right now. They want to walk off and, and throw a match in your car. 11 years of oh, sacrifice. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm gonna go with Angela Bassett. All right. I'm going to Pat, Kev? I'm going to say Regina King. Only because I just watched The Watchmen. Regina King was amazing. It's some of the best television. I hope they do not do a season two. It was perfect as it was. Uh, Why are you playing? Her roles in Boondocks was just amazing. And she's been more a part of my life as far as movies I've watched than Angela Bassett. So I'm going to go with you. And we know Pat going to go with Regina King too. So go ahead and say it, Pat, so we can close it out. Hey, don't, don't impress me and my people. <laughs> 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 I am impressed. <laughs> but you're correct. I choose Regina King. <laughs> Don't impress me and my people. Black people in America, we're tired of being impressed. Black people are like, hmm, nice. <laughs> really good. <laughs> Looks Wait, like Regina did King. Did you, did you say the that? Last topic of the day. He said that, Richie. He was trying to say oppressed, and he said impressed. And the connotations are so different. It's funny. <laughs> hey, you slaves, are you tired of being impressed? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got all this animanium up here. You know how impressed our people would be back at the States with this? <laughs> it's impressive shit. <laughs> That's been another episode of Squadcast Versus. I want to thank our special guest, Mr. Richie Logo, in the building. 
Uh, thank you to the squad. We're still out here doing our thing. And thank you guys at home for watching, as well as for all your suggestions. Uh, continue to send them to my inbox on Instagram and Instagram only. Do not email me. I will block you. And we will see you next week hey. on another episode. Peace. <laughs>